what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to be breaking down the madden 23 gameplay trailer if you enjoy this type of content hit the red subscribe button down below and turn your notifications on we are going to do a deep dive into madden 23 first gameplay reaction Let's get it. If you want to complete every collection super, super fast, head over to my sponsor and use code FAT for 5% off your order. Super fast and reliable. All right, so first we're just going to play it all the way through and then we're going to break down what has changed from Madden 22 to Madden 23, the goods, the bad, and the ugly. So this is the new Field Sense system part of their selling point right there. So it's supposed to be more tweaks into the game. You can see they have the directional passing. Okay, so they have the one cut, which has already been in the game. Okay, the overpowered running backs, wide receiver DB mechanics. All right, so let's go back to the beginning and break down what I was able to catch. So it don't look like the sidelines changed at all. All right, so there it goes with a play action. Okay, so there's Aaron Rodgers. And the first thing that I see is, number one, this is man coverage that they playing. So he's tight on him. He has inside leverage though. He's playing man coverage on him and they trying to demonstrate the new player how you can put the ball in a certain area. But the thing is, they overlooking the stuff that an everyday player goes through. So if you go back and look at this, if you go back just a little bit, you can see a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven man pressure, okay? Against one, two, three, four, five, six blockers. So with a seven man pressure against six blockers, it's supposed to be somebody that come in free, okay? But the reason why he don't just shoot through the gap where he's supposed to, instead of his feet being clunked off of the lineman, is still in the game. You can see a nice chop block right there. You can see man on man right here, turns his hips. He's getting ready to cut, do a post. He's slow shuffling right here to let him get inside leverage. And then he's running with the receiver right here with about a three step separation right here. So. This comeback route is going to be perfect. Obviously, they set this up to make sure they play against the Lions with a terrible AI. But this right here is no reason why he shouldn't be able to stand in the pocket for a quick second and make this read instead of rolling out. Throws it, crossbody, dead eye, bullet pass. Same thing we've been seeing all the time. And now the defender gets to him. Okay, so if you look, this guy is wide open. This is guy is gonna be one-on-one -on, -one on the post, except they set up man coverage so they can be able to showcase this. So a perfect route to the curl. Now right here, if you go back and look at this, this is obviously a cover two, okay? So you can see the cornerback right here dropping off about 15 yards. Here's a cornerback behind the square about 15 yards. You have the two high safeties up here, and then you have a linebacker dropping back, and then you have your verts and your curls right here in the middle. Okay, so one, two, three, four man pressure. He's coming through one on one. We have a double team right there. So we got one, two, three, four, five blockers against a four man pass rush. They stand him up to the inside. He has a pocket right there to stand up in the pocket, but this guy is gonna do that two second one on one block share like we always see. And then this is cover two. So he's throwing it all the way to the sidelines right here. And this safety, this safety right here should realize once he gets passed off by this cornerback, this guy is streaking down the field. He needs to start breaking over this way already instead of just backpedaling. So once we play it right there, now he's slow to turn around and react even though that's the only guy in the area deep in the zone. Now, if you look at this play and dissect it, Russell Wilson is once again catching the ball, rolling out of the pocket for no reason because this is his target he's going to. And then he's throwing it off a of one foot, accurate throw, 
This guy standing in the zone, nobody over there. Now he should either be attacking the quarterback or he should be dropping back a little closer to the touchdown so he can try to deflect the ball or jump up and knock it down. Okay, so you got this guy and then you got one, two, three players over here with one lineman for no reason. All these guys at the snap should be touching somebody in front of them. It shouldn't be nobody untouched. Okay, so I don't know what kind of zone they play in. We're gonna go back a second. Russell Wilson is prematurely catching the ball and rolling out for no reason. The same problems that Madden has had over the past few years. He's catching it and running the same way it is online. So he's running using his escape artist. You can see him lit up underneath here. The little uh, Pokemon stuff that they didn't add it over the past couple years. He's rolling and he's throwing it off of one foot. And then they change the scene real fast. And then they show the aggressive catches in the end zone, which is supposed to be the spectacular plays and stuff. So why is he rolling out? All the plays that they are making are one foot rollouts. No reason to. If you look at this, he catch it. This is a good pocket. There's no reason why he can't sit over here, step up, and make a same throw over to the outside. This is the cone that they're trying to show again. So if we dissect this Russell Wilson play, right here, he drops back. He has a clean pocket. No blitz off the edge. No blitz coming through right here. Two guys not doing anything. He can stand in the pocket, step up, and make this same throw to the outside. Right here, he's using his escape artist for no reason and rolling out. So the game has not changed in that sense right there. Now this guy should have more awareness. The quarterback is rolling out. As soon as this guy drops back in zone and he sees this quarterback catch the ball and start running to the sidelines, nobody's in his area when he look behind him. These guys need to converge. Okay, you have this guy right here. You drop back in your zone. He comes out. He don't go left. He goes right. So you should start coming over to the right. You should start moving over to the right. You should be moving out wide. Okay? Now this guy only has one person in his area. The reason why he's dropping back still instead of covering over to the sideline. Because look, there's this guy in the middle. There's this guy over here with no threat. He should be coming out wide. He should be getting wide. He should be getting wide. He should be getting wide. Three guys right here. Two of them not doing anything. As soon as they hike the ball, put a hand on somebody. As soon as they hike the ball, you should be touching somebody. You should be helping somebody. Okay? That is authentic football 90% of the time. Sometimes people miss their blocking assignments and all that. But there's no reason for one, Russell to catch the ball and start rolling out, predetermining who he's going to throw it to. Number two, there's no reason for these guys to play their exact zone if there's nobody there. And then I want to see linemen jumping up to knock the ball down. I want to see linemen with the intelligence to come after a rolling out quarterback. So there he is. He rolls. He throws it on one foot. Perfect throw. And now they're showing the aggressive catches in the end zone. Aggressive catch. Okay? So... There we go with the one cut. If you look at that one cut, it's been in the game. They calling it something else. They saying uh, more cut control or whatever. But this guy is still shuffling. Don't even reach out and put his hand on him. I'm not trying to beat the game down. I'm just saying what it is that we've been asking for. People that play a lot and then the changes that they are making. So we come out right here. He squares up and just runs right past them. And then right here. He breaks the tackle, and then this right here, two-man interaction, and it looks like at the end, it's back to how it was like four or five years ago, where you repeatedly push a button, and then if you get the advantage, you break the tackle. So look at this guy right here. He comes up, two-man interaction, and then he breaks the tackle and comes off with his elbow. Wide receiver DB mechanics, okay? So that's a good route runner right there. But why is this guy still shuffling? Watch him. He's still shuffling off to the side. Okay? So, every, D, every DB ain't like that. So, there's the dive right there. He throws up the deuces. That's the sell the game. And that guy's still shuffling. All these shuffles. Only one person in your area. 
You should be reading the quarterback eyes and breaking on the ball. There's a two-man interaction that's been in the game. Two-man interaction, two-man knockouts, two-man interaction. So it ain't too much more you can do with graphics, but the graphics look pretty clean. But the stuff that we've been complaining about is still in the game. Rolling out prematurely, which is what's going to be meta again. And then now they have this new put the pass exactly where you want to, where you don't even need this icon. As long as you get your timing down, you can throw that. Right here, he rolls out the pocket. It is a seven-man blitz. But look at this guy. He's wide open. Boom. You could have did a pass right here, led it up a little bit. He would have had one person to beat and a blocker out in front of him. Okay? So he throws it perfect on the run. Right here. Cover two beater down the sideline. Right here. Prematurely rolling out, throwing it on the run. I give the overall trailer as far as look about a 6 out of 10. I give the overall trailer as far as how the everyday player is going to experience it about a 5 out of 10. They have enough time to fix certain things, but will they fix Madden 23, especially with the legend John Madden on the cover? Okay, so what I feel like they need to be doing in order to get the game good is play the game human versus human like an everyday player would experience. People that play weekend league, go and test the game over and over, okay? How do defenses react to cover twos? What I mean by that is by having this route come underneath to suck the cornerbacks down, this guy on the streak down the sideline, cornerbacks react to that, how the safeties react to that, make changes to it, okay? So certain ratings will play a little slower on the ball, that's okay. Cover two beaters, cover three beaters need to be tested out. Uh, shifting your line to the left or pinching your line or showing blitz, bluff blitzing, standing over the center is problems that we've had over the past few years. Test that out. This is what you guys need to be testing out before you release it to us on the market, okay? Let me know y'all thoughts down in the comment section. I give it a five out of 10. Let's go.